Hi Dave, great to see you on the ranges today and do some more work on your game. Just a quick recap on the work that we did. Again, a little bit too much clearance on the way down. Very much of a rotation. Too much rotation, arms coming out in front of you. When viewed from the front, when we get too much rotation, not enough forward movement. Both sensors move forward together. There's no real separation. And at P6, we've got a situation where... The right shoulder is higher than the left, and the spine very, very upright, and continues to stay in that position all the way down and through. So there's not enough tilt back, not enough extension as you're coming through, and you can see there, there's a substantial amount of forearm rotation, largely due to the fact that if we're going to clear so much, and we're going to get the arms working out in front of us so much, we have to make sure that we close that blade down so that the ball starts left to accommodate the right curve that we're going to put on the golf ball. So what I'd like to see you work on, I'm just going to put you down into that position and this position. In fact, we'll put you at P6. In both instances he's trying to get the hips to move forward further for longer as you can see he is set up against the wall a lot more linear movement with the hips as you do that it's important to note that the upper center isn't rocking back it's just that we're moving the lower center further forward so even though you may appear they're tilted back more the upper center is stable the lower centre has moved forward and we've got more second axis tilt here as we're coming into impact. Remember what we said yesterday, when the hips stop moving forward, the club is then going to work across the line. Hips move forward, arms stay in more. Much better position as we're coming into it. Arms working down, hips forward, arms down. That thought will keep the club and keep the arms on the inside and allow you to, to approach the ball in a more appropriate manner. When we do that, we can start to quiet the hands down because we don't need to roll the wrists as much to start that ball left. But initially, Dave, plenty of work on what we see here on the far right-hand side. Making a good backswing, we've got to keep the lower body moving forward further for longer, enabling us to hit out at the golf ball in the appropriate manner. Good luck with it. I look forward to speaking with you again real soon. Well done.